Hello, and welcome to Draw With Me. I'm Danny Gregory, and it is very nice to see you again here as we meet every Thursday at the same time to draw various stuff. And I'm joined today by the ever lovely JJ Gregory. Hello. It's nice to see you too. I'm just so happy to be here. So we are on the cusp, the cusp of the brink. The well, yeah, I was telling everyone we had a low of 69 when we got up this one, right. which was a very big deal in Phoenix. Because it's the first time we've seen that number, that numero on the readout. I know. So we are on the brink, the threshold of fall. Um, the equinox is Sunday. Yeah. So we're trying to channel fall feelings. You know, some of you have already, are, you've swung into it properly, but we are projecting what we wish for here. Do you like fall? Uh, yeah. I think it's probably one of the four great seasons. Yeah. I'll tell you what I like. Tell me. Candy. And <laughs> in fall, you know, to me, I still have that like 10 year old mentality. It's like you're putting little X's on the days until Halloween when you can go like go Halloween, get a bag of candy. And then we go into Thanksgiving and then we go into Christmas and there's opportunity candy. Candy corn, candy bars, can I mean, C's candy. All right. C's one I mean, of these days, these we, we, one of these days, we should get us sponsored by C's Candies. Uh, we, should. we should. Somebody help us. Let's with that. work on that. Um, I also want to say, speaking of things I loved, I love those fauve paintings that, that you guys made last week they of were, Matisse. They were so cool. What I always love a colorful cavalcade. I know, and it's, it's really kind of great. But also, just seeing all the different ways. I mean, I think it was the broadest spectrum of experimentation. I also like that some people did other things. They did self. Someone did me. Someone did you. Someone did, Someone me. did me. I think I saw myself in there too. <laughs> so yes, it was very, it was, and I want to carry that same love of color into today because of course we're going to, we're going to work on fall leaves today and fall leaves are beautiful colors. Um, it's just virtually every color, including, I don't know, purples, yes, oranges, that yellows, think. Some greens. That you wouldn't think. Yeah. And we're also going to take some liberties with stuff too and we're gonna do the same thing we did with fauvism which is to just say let's push the colors let's let's really intensify things because there's that second stage of autumn leaves which is brown and dead, dead. yeah we don't, we don't we're not going there we're trying to stay in the it's beautiful still thing category so let's just talk about speaking of color i want to talk about today's sponsor which is windsor and newton and specifically, we are going to do, I don't know that we've ever used this particular set before, have we? Not sure. Which is their floral pocket set. So it is uh, a special set of eight, I think it's eight um, watercolors. Eight, indeed. Eight little pans. Eight, Although eight. it looks like you could add a couple of, you can. There's a couple room, of yeah. empty pans you can use for mixing totally. or you can Yeah, you can, you can add definitely a flav. expand it. So uh, I'm going to be using those today. And if you would like to use them, then just write to us. We have a slightly new email address to write to us if you would like to be uh, included in the giveaway. That is, draw. you can either write draw with me or dwm at sketchbookschool.com. Dwm, write to us, send us your U.S. mailing address. It has to be a U.S. mailing address because we are sponsored by Windsor and Newton United U.S., um, you can also write to us at our post office box, which has not changed. So um, write to us. Tell us what interests you about these things. Yeah, and it's a U.S. only, just to reiterate. Not that we don't love, we very much love our international friends. I've seen so many of them in the chat, which is beautiful and lovely. But our sponsor is U.S.-based, and they do the shipments, and they're them the rules. And I guess we uh, have done this before. Deb says she ordered them because you used them. She loves the palette, so that's great. That's fantastic. Thank yeah. you, Dad. So um, that is that is cool. And um, yes, Rennie wants it. So Rennie, let <laughs> us know. Let us know why, and we will we will put you in the mix. Oh, and look, Alex got his one hundred percent cotton sketchbook. In case people wonder, are these giveaways real? There's proof. Thank you, Alex. I hope you enjoy it. Yes, um, and I assume Alex won it. Yeah. Well, you know, Alex ordered it. Um, a lot of people are talking about pumpkin Cheerios. 
not sure how I, I feel about that. Them. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. But um, yeah, pumpkin flavor in general is not my thing. But yes. But you do love cereal. I do love cereal. I do love Cheerios. So, anyway, um, so let's talk about this. I have to be honest with you. I am feeling anxiety. I'm feeling a slight <laughs> trepidation today about this project. And, and I, I'm, there's no real reason for it. And I hope you're not feeling any trepidation about drawing autumn leaves. I mean, why should that be a source of anxiety? But Did you get a poor night's sleep? <laughs> um, I got an okay night's sleep. I got an, an average night's sleep. I think it is, um, I don't know what it is. Maybe, I'll think, maybe as I'm It's the equinox. Maybe it's the equinox. It's the changing of the seasons. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe it's the impending sense of death and doom that what? hangs over autumn. Uh, no, but I think, I think, uh, and I, I, I actually, I, just I, like that. No, no, maybe you should do a little sketch and stretch. No, I think I have an idea. I think I've spent a bit of time thinking about it this morning as to why I'm feeling a bit of anxiety. And there's real, no really, really no reason. So here we have a, a piece of reference, which I think is quite beautiful. It's quite simple, but also quite complicated. And you are certainly welcome to say, you know what, I want to do a whole other version of Autumn Leaves, and I have some other thoughts. Great, do your thing. Um, but, I mean, this is not bad. I've looked at a, a bunch of different ones. You know, in fact, uh, let me just show you a different one that I looked at, too. There's this. Is this better? Maybe this is better. So this has got more colors in it. It's a little, a little darker. But maybe this is the one to go with. It's very pretty. What do you think? I don't, What's I think, your vote? I mean, this what, versus this? How do we feel about the fact that it's like green grass popping up through there? Is that, well, there is green grass, but yeah. I, th I think that this is, um, this has light as an element. So light is shining through the leaf and it's creating additional colors. And this one is pretty flat, but it does have lots of colors. Yeah, I think people are voting for the first one. This one. Okay. Bring on the orange. And, and Alyssa has retrieved a dead leaf from the garbage. See, that is just ingenuity now, at work. I thought you were going to say, yes, that confirms my <laughs> sense of, of death and... You, you know, and, other people are saying and, they, the they have a, a foreboding. Yeah, Somebody said their whole family had doomsday dreams. So maybe it's just a thing. Yeah, I think, I think so. It's just a thing. I think we watched some like rough television last night. Part of it too, Maybe. right? I mean, here's what I think. I'll be honest with you. I don't normally... Let me go back up to here. I don't normally experiment. I don't normally do the project that we're going to do on Draw With Me in advance. Only occasionally, if there's something I really can't figure out. But I did sit down and try knocking out watercolor of this picture. And I hated it. Not because of the paint. The paints were great. I just... What I did is I tried to be a watercolorist. You know what that means, right? A watercolorist is, there's a certain approach that is about sort of classic watercolor that it just ain't me. And I think that's really what happened to me is I started to do something that wasn't authentically me, that didn't come from the place that I normally come from. When I sit down to do a drawing, I was trying to put on airs and be something that I'm not. And... I think that that threw me into some kind of a weird headspace that I'm now going to try and get out of because I'm going to I'm going to approach this the way I would normally do this sort of a project, which is I would do a line drawing with a fine liner, and then I will just have at it with watercolors and see what happens and and try to be keep it loose, try to keep it. I think there's great opportunities for great colors and color combinations here, so I'm going to try and do it that way. And um, does that make sense? Is that is that I mean, can we just say, just have fun? How about right. that? So I think I wasn't having fun, honestly, because I, I think, think you weren't having fun. I think I was just trying a bit hard to be a watercolorist. Yeah. And I'm, I, I ain't one. Um, so yeah, so so let's try. So here I am. I've, I'm going to use a fine liner, and I'm just going to do a drawing. And then when I've done a drawing, then I'm going to get in and do some colors, OK? So let's just start doing a drawing. And these leaves are kind of, they look like they'll be sort of fun to draw, because they are. They're very um, graphic. They are, they are. And, uh, you know, they have all sorts of unpredictable, 
uh, things. Like there are things that you think of when you look at a leaf. You think, oh, it's got these certain qualities. But when you look at a real leaf, a lot of times it doesn't. It has, so it's, it's so different. Yeah, different. is your plan today to just do the one? Just no, the one. no, no, I'm going to do this arrangement. No, 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 but the one image. You're not going to have multiple images. I don't today. think so. Yeah, so I would say take your time, slow down. Yeah, Janet says she has no idea what it means to be a watercolorist. Uh, I think you have the right you have the right attitude. A lifelong learner. Yeah. A curious mind. And that's not only how I am. I mean, honestly, I mean, Susan says she felt that way last week too. You know, it it can be. And Robert says, and he should know. It should be fun unless it's a commission, <laughs> in which case it should be miserable. So <laughs> thank you, Robert. Always wise. Um, Robert also mentioned earlier in the chat that he liked your shirt. Ah, yes. Thank you. I made Danny change his shirt right before we started because he was also wearing a navy blue polo. <laughs> it happens to us. How often does this happen? I mean, it's weird. It's weird. It happens so often that we... We have our closets are in totally different rooms, and then we'll appear, and we're both wearing the same thing. A lot of people are claiming out of focus, out of focus, out of focus. What's out of focus? The stream. Is there anything on our end that's making that happen? Yes, you know what it is. Oh, shakes fist at our internet provider. For, no, Fran says if you're seeing fuzzy, refresh. Are you seeing fuzzy? I'm not. I see clearly. If you're not seeing fuzzy, then it's fine. <laughs> no, no, it's not, because you're, you're getting the feed as well. I'm sorry if you're yeah, getting I it, but, some, but just try refreshing your YouTube page. Yeah, I'm sorry. And most, a lot of people are saying that they're fine, so. Okay. I'm sorry if that's the case. I promise you it's, my drawings might be out of focus. <laughs> you might wish for your drawings to be out of focus. So, yeah, so, so here I've drawn the first leaf. Should I go in and draw the stuffs? The innards? The innards, I might as well. Um, but... Because what I also am thinking about is, you know, where do I want to go with this overall? Because um, there are really nice um, contrasting complementary colors in here. There is certainly um, orange and red, but there's also the opportunity, I think, to use some purple in there as a complement to the yellow some green in there as a compliment to the red. I mean, I see just all kinds of green when I'm looking at this reference. Yeah, there's a lot of, it's like there's still life it's in a, the... It's a young yeah, it's, it's turning a, leaf. It's, it's not a September leaf. I'm not quite dead yet. Not exactly. October leaf. And then you see here on this leaf, there is this strange shape. And JJ and I have talked about this shape in this picture. Is it a mistake? You thought it was a mistake, like it was some kind of an artifact sitting in the... the yeah, some, like I the thought photographer. maybe it was like a weird comp. But I think what it is, is it's... The leaf, this next leaf, is the shadow is being cast onto it. Or there's something on top of it that we can't see. I think it's the, no, I think it's the, and another, because if you look down at the leaf below, it also has the, almost the exact same thing. It's hard to imagine that we could discuss a leaf in such detail. But that's the beauty of drawing, isn't it? So now I'm looking at this negative space here and uh, just getting that in there. I also have to decide, what do I do with the edges of this frame? Am I going to draw a frame around it? Because there is a frame around the picture. So I have to figure that part well, out. Well, like, too. what about those blurry well, that's, that's, that's dudes a, up there? That's a perfect watercolor problem, right? I mean, you can imagine that as, as a watercolor solution. So, all right, so now I have this. Again, a negative shape here, which is hopefully you understand what I'm saying, meaning by negative shape, which is negative space, which is basically this little chunk of sky that you can see through there. So I'm drawing that chunk of sky rather than the leaf. And that's helping me to orient myself and to get a sense of proportion. And um, then I can kind of connect it. Are you squinting? A little bit. I have to squint when I do negative space. Yeah, because you have to be able to say to your brain, like, don't look at the obvious big shape. Right. Look at this other thing that... Turn cause, off. Yeah, because your eye wants to look at the stuff that has the most information in it, right? And that 
that's not not the task at hand there. Oh, Wilma has an interesting factoid. If it, if it is, it might be. It might what is need it? to verify it. She said, I read recently that green leaves are overwhelmed by chlorophyll. Yeah, the fall that. colors are their actual colors. That's so interesting. So that means that they're like, uh, they're like an empty vessel when they're colored, but then they get filled with chlorophyll. Is that it? Yeah. They I guess get, it's kind of like get, a, it's like they they had a hit of like some serious drug in the in the spring, and well, it's like hummingbirds that are essentially kind of grayish brown. I still don't believe it. You see it sometimes. They're 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 one color, and then they when they hit get hit by light, their feathers take on all these iridescence and, as they reflect them. All right, Laura Mayer is saying that's that's true. So, okay. well, that's I'm, I'm willing to believe it. I can't believe we're actually learning something. We, you know, we have a lot of scientists. We've had, once when we did the moths, there was somebody, I can't remember what the exact specialty is, but... She was an entomologist. Last, no, it was something specific she about was moths. A, yeah, she was a moth. She was writing her PhD about moths, right? Um, also, somebody had a... We, a very specific uh, bat biologist I had a conversation with last week. Oh, really? It's very cool. You people. <laughs> oh, no. Are very accomplished. It's been so long since you did that. I know. You beat, beat it out of me. My natural tendency to be insulting. Um, all right, so where am I over here? Yeah, lepidopterist. That's what it was. Yeah, that's a that's a butterfly expert, right? Yeah, and that's what we were discussing. Is is a moth expert is also also a lepidopter? What do you call somebody who's a rock specialist? Isn't something like that too? No, a geologist. I thought like people who collect rocks. You know, like like they spin them and polish them. Isn't that isn't there a special term for those people? Uh, I'm not sure. So when you're working on these leaves, the stem is actually kind of helpful because it's because the stem isn't just randomly there. It's sort of it's holding this section together, right? So you kind of want to make sure the stem becomes a guide for whether your shape is right because the stem is ultimately pointing at the points of these leaves. I don't have a PhD in leaves, but I am drawing one, so I'm learning quite a lot about how it's structured. Speaking of a PhD in leaves, I would be remiss if I didn't mention one of our favorite books of all time, which came out, I don't know, five, six years ago. The author's name is Hope Jaron, and the book is called Lab Girl, and she writes about her life as a biologist, and she specialized in trees. And she's a fascinating scientist, but also an incredible writer. And we learned so much about trees. And we have recommended this book to hundreds of people. And I think that... I mean, we probably bought like a dozen copies of this over, over pe the pe years. But people still write to me to say thank you for telling me about this book. It's really, it's lovely. But there's one, there was one thought in this book that just rocked my world and changed how I thought about trees forever. So the lifespan of a tree, most trees is, you know, far more significant than ours. And she said, a single year of a tree's life where it goes through all the seasons is the rough equivalent of one human's breath. So you, you know, spring, you're inhaling, 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 summer, inhaling, second half of going into fall and winter, exhaling, exhaling, and the leaves drop. Isn't that just the coolest thing? I love that. Yeah, that is a really cool way of looking at it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm making up a few little lines here just to deal with the fact that the picture is cut cuts off. Well, you know, what we didn't mention mm. um, uh, Portland. Oh, are we going to talk about that at all? I think you should. 
Yeah, so um, we didn't make an official announcement here, but I think I mentioned it on a YouTube post that we're doing um, a get-together in Portland. Yeah. Speaking of leaves. And Saturday, October the Portland, 7th. Portland, Oregon, not Maine. Don't, you don't go to Maine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, maybe there could be a like, if you similar want cohort in Maine. Go to Maine we, if you want to. Yeah, we just won't be there. Yeah, I won't be. I won't be there. So, um, yeah. So, going to Portland, and uh, we're going to have just a meet up, hang out. Um, we're kind of still trying to assess how many people are coming. Yeah. So to that, figure out where I, the rough idea is urban sketching. Yeah, I think we'll do some urban sketching. Certainly, it's it's an urban place, so we should. All right, so there's my basic outline. Let's get on with this watercoloring now, because that's enough. So, first off, I gotta I gotta deal with this background. I think so. What I'm thinking background wise is probably some kind of a watery purple, just because it'll be a nice contrast. I'm hoping, and it'll allow for the sense of a background that's out of focus. So this is purple. Yeah, purple. Because imagine this purple when we have yellow leaves against it. It's going to be nice, yo. <laughs> it just sounded like Jack T. Gregory. So, yeah. So I think it'll be fun, this Portland trip. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, speaking of fall leaves... Yeah, exactly. October seventh in Portland, Oregon. Probably like a half day in the morning. We're gonna we're gonna figure out a meetup spot. But if if you're interested and you want me to put your email on the list for more details, write to me at dwm at sketchbookschool.com. Dwm, by the way, is draw, draw with me. Draw with me, in case yeah. it's not obvious. Which is the name of what you're watching. Right. So just pretty simple purple. I'm probably going to come in and layer some more stuff over here afterwards, but let's get on with it. So I don't want to get too, too fussy about these leaves. That, that That's probably the problem I had when I was doing this before. Is I was just trying to really reproduce this picture, and I don't want to. I want to go back to the I mean, thought. that's not really your style. Well, that's the problem. As I said, I think what I want to do... I want to let me just fix this camera here. I want to I want to um, sort of go back into that more fovist mode, if you will. And oh, there we go. And just you know, get some bright colors going. And be also a little bit loose, a little bit splashy with these colors. I want them to be... What I like about this pocket set is it is... I mean, that's the size of my hand. And here's the thing. It's, it's, it's small. It's small. So you can throw this into your bag really easily. And these colors are great. They are. I just think Cotton and Windsor Newton make favorite watercolors and I want these colors I want the background to be sort of soft but I want these leaves to be really intense and so that was a bit of cad yellow now I'm going to do some cad red with a little bit of cad yellow in it make a nice orange maybe I'll even throw in a little bit of lemon yellow as well Yeah, so we're going to glaze this a few... What kind of a brush are you using? I'm using um, a Windsor Newton Synthetic. This is a number six. I find that I whatever... I demoed those synthetics on Draw With Me earlier yeah. this year. Yeah, you every really time like I... like those, right? I do. I like. I really like them. And then, um, you know, I, I've had synthetic brushes in the past, and I didn't really like them, but I feel like the technology has really advanced. Where now they're, I think, indistinguishable 
from those brushes that are made from the tails of animals that are ripped out at the roots. No. Yeah, I much prefer a, a nice uh, synthetic thing. So, yeah, just being looser. I'm already feeling more like I'm in my element. There's another section of purple I forgot. I was just so excited to finally be putting some color down. Kate says uh, purple and moon glow for the background. Moon glow? What's moon glow? I don't know. I don't know. But, but I not, like the idea of it. Not, yeah. It is not part of this set. I, I find that this set of colors is, you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. Um, you can kind of get wherever you want. It's got some ultramarine in there, so we can... Is it possible the white is a moon glow? Oh, I don't know. I, th I think it's, it's called Chinese white. Hmm. A mystery. Maybe you're meant to bring it out into the backyard in the night? Maybe if you're Van Morrison. Oh, she's referring to a, a Daniel Smith pigment. Yes, grayish purple. Yeah, but we're not... We're talking Windsor Newton. <laughs> they are, after all, our sponsors, if you'll forget me, forgive me. And I'm a big fan of their product, so that's where we're going to adhere to. But, you know, viewers... I've tried Dan yeah, I've viewers tried. use what you got on hand. I mean, Daniel Smith products are great. Um, I've just used Windsor Newton for as long as I can remember watercoloring. But certainly you can, you can mix brands. There's no rule against that. All right, so I'm trying to keep it loose. I think I'm being reasonably successful at that, but. Maybe you need to take a break, have a dance party. You think so? Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't think we've ever done that on Draw With Me. Damn right. We, we did that been. once when we did the Draw-a-thon. We had a dance party in the we middle. Did. Yes. I think we played Lionel Richie, my favorite. Um, instead, I'm going to play the mellifluous tones of my hair dryer. <laughs> That was certainly not a musical interlude. <laughs> you know, I love that. <laughs> Jen sees it's giving leaf blower. <laughs> Nancy says maybe thinking about using cad red made me anxious. Why would that be? Because isn't it poisonous? I don't Back know. in the day? Let me taste it and see. So the question is, how do we want to deal with the greens? The greens, yeah, because the arteries. I could. guess they're veins. They you call veins. that a part of a leaf of vein, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try releasing some green into here and see what happens. So see, that's sort of. I don't want to go too far with it, though, because I'm afraid it's going to... Don't be afraid. Be bold. Be free. Be loose. Make mud. Oh, mud. The dreaded. Mud is part of nature, too. I guess that's true. I want 
I think I just want to intensify these colors more. And doing layers of glazing will do that. It makes the colors, you know. Hopefully you understand the concept of glazing, which means basically you apply layering more and more coats, as it were. But you kind of have to wait until it's somewhat dry. Yeah, it's better. Otherwise, you're doing wet on wet. And this is wet on dry. Which means you're... I mean, you could also use a little paper towel, dab, 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 right? Well, you can, and I used to do that. But then what I realized is that when you're doing that, you're sucking up color. Right. So instead of it drying and going into the paper, you're absorbing it with your... And, it, and that certainly can work if you're having like a nightmarish accident of some kind. All right, now I'm going to bring in this permanent rose, which is a new color, to the mix. Welcome to a, welcome to this painting, permanent rose. You know what? I think I'm just going to stop looking at the photo. Oh, I like this idea. What's that? Stop looking at the photo. Yeah, I'm done with the photo. I'm just going to... Are you going to take it away? No, I think, I think if you guys want to keep looking at it, you can, but... If I, the you people? I think I just want to focus on seems to make sense for this particular picture that I'm making, as opposed to reproducing the photo, you know? I think that that's... I'm also going to add a little bit of this permanent rose to the purple. People are uh, asking if you turned down your mic while the, the dryer was running. Oh, I did. You're right. Thank you. Thanks for pointing that out. Does this sound better? I, Good. I mean... Yeah. Let me know if you can hear me better now. So, see, I like this thing escaped here. wasn't really meant to happen, but it's okay. Which thing escaped? See here, right here, this. Oh, yeah. There's like a pool that escaped. But it's actually, it breaks up that purple, so it isn't just. Well, it's kind of a technique you might use for those out-of-focus dudes. Right. That's sort of what I'm thinking, that these, that's what that is. It's not. It's not sky, it's some background leaf. Background action, yeah. Background so action. Let's do a bit more of that. And up here, there's actually a really bright chunk of color, so let's do that. While keeping it diluted so it doesn't, because we don't want it to compete with the, this little branch. Little branch. I'm starting to sound like Bob, Bob Ross. Ross. Somebody else mentioned happy accident. Yeah. I just saw something about one of his paintings get, being auctioned off for like a ridiculous amount of money. Really? Like a painting he did in 10 minutes. That's disappointing. $10 million dollars or something. Well, it's very hard to buy Bob Ross paintings. I remember thinking a while ago, like, I should just buy a Bob Ross painting. How much could they be? They, don't, they can't buy them. They basically are all with the Bob Ross Foundation or whatever it's called. That cabal that runs his estate, and they're not really out there. It's weird, isn't it? Wouldn't you think that Bob Ross paintings would be a dime a dozen on eBay? <laughs> I guess you'd have to make your own Bob Ross. And I have. Right. Do you think we point. should do that again? Do you guys remember when we did that? Mm, vaguely. We've done it twice, where I did a Bob You've Ross got your painting. Bob Ross energy can up there. Yeah, I, Bob Ross energy. I have twice done, we got uh, an episode of the Bob Ross show, and we painted along with him. I don't remember and that. You don't remember it? I, I did it twice. I did it once. Was it during the pandy? I did it once uh, during the pandy with my iPad, but then I did it again with just, uh, I think it was watercolor. And I have to say, Kicked his ass. <laughs> Mine was so much better than his. It wasn't really, but it, it was. It was a struggle. I, I painted some mountains. I saw that painting a couple days ago. Yeah, I just don't remember it. I painted a mountain lake kind of classic Bob Ross scene. Hmm. Yeah, Holly remembers it. Maybe you did it in Spark. Maggie's saying my sound. Okay, good. I mean, Danny is a low talker. That's not true. It is true. 
I speak loudly. He mumbles. I'm a mumbler. Um, all right, so... Right, this is a this is not as as much of a disaster as I was thinking it's going to be. <laughs> Way it's to not, go easy on yourself, babe. It's not great, but it's less. I'm less disappointed with myself than I thought I. Are you going to show the one that you hated? Oh God, no. There's no point. <laughs> Just imagine an even worse version of it than this. Oh, babe. It happens, you know. Don't be hard on my babe. All right, I'm, I'm going to hit it with the, the hairbrush again. I mean, the hairbrush. <laughs> All right, turn the volume Speaking down. Speaking of being hit with a hairbrush. Some interesting things happened here. Snuggle my puggle. Way to the bay. Oh my goodness. Paint set down. Palette down. No, everything's fine. I just okay. dropped a piece of a paper towel. You dropped a paper towel. I made all that clatter. Um, mm. I dropped crayons oh, all right good we're back and you back. see I did you put your volume back up yes you see i managed to get some nice kind of tendril action i like that so here's the one thing i can do that will make this feel a little bit better is i'm going to draw in these main stems with some real color so draw in using what oh with paint yeah, yeah. That will sharpen things up a bit. So did we ask, is there anybody here who is going to Portland? Uh, Holly Rose. Yeah. Heather Andrews. I mean, Holly lives in Portland, so. She doesn't, actually. She's traveling... Pretty good distance to be there. Somebody wrote to me and they said, I'd like to go, but I live all the way out in Arizona. So <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah, I could understand why you wouldn't want to go then. It's possible. Oh, and Renee is coming. Renee Martinez. Great. Well, we haven't seen each other in the flesh as a community. We haven't gotten together since... Well, we kind of got together in, in New, York. New York. Ah, yes, Tina Whitcomb Hillard is going to be there with her nephew. Great. Yeah, well, we haven't been there since, we haven't gotten together as a community since really SketchCon, which is now five years away. Oh. Can you believe it? Five years ago. So, yeah, we have a lot to talk about. So I omitted this um, shadow thing that was sitting here, which I think was an, a, a good decision. It would have just been confusing. I don't know if you included it in yours, but I just decided it was, it was too much. So now I'm going to hesitantly go in and do a few little green things. I say hesitantly because I'm hesitating. <laughs> but is that a mistake? That's okay. <laughs> oh, babe. Yeah. You are all twisted up today. I know. It happens. I, ha I think it happens to all of us, doesn't it? That you lose your confidence. Even after all these years of doing it, you can still get into that sp state of like, hmm. And uh, you get over it. 
You get your you get your confidence back. What's it called in sports? The yips. Yeah, you got the yips. yips. Right. So I think specifically baseball is the yips. Yeah. So if I was if you could imagine me being a baseball player, can you? Absolutely not. <laughs> We have a friend who is a baseball player who we're going to be seeing soon, aren't we? Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, to ask him about that, what he does when he has, what he did when he had the yips. If he did. I think even bringing it up to a sports ball player and give them the yips. Oh, really? I think it's like pretty, like you just don't, you don't cast that spell. Well, he's not a player anymore, so. Yeah, well, you know. He could he, have like a PTSD moment. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's. It's not done. Maybe I shouldn't have changed my socks. Maybe I have to, you know, don't they do all those kinds of things? You don't change your socks. You, you, uh, I don't know. You do other things that are supposed to help you get your mojo back. Remember that movie Bull Durham? Didn't he wear, like, ladies' panties? With Tim, Tim. Do you think Bob I need to do Jeff? that? <laughs> Again? Oh, dear. Well, see if we go that far. If things go that far, I'll know what to do. What do you think? Is this? Are you pleased with this? Or yeah. Different to it. Am I pleased with it? No, I think it's beautiful. Mixing up some. Just, I think this is op an opportunity to have kind of more layers of color. So, like, I'm liking this section that has the yellow and the orange in it. And this is looking a little flat here. You fell silent as soon as I mentioned wearing ladies' underwear. Oh, no, I was just zoning out. You're zoning out because you have your pug uh, weighted blanket. Oh, she's so cozy. All right. I'm in a trance. Fran says it's more the putting yips in golf. Yeah. Stop talking about the yips. People don't, it gives them the yips. I'm just confronting my problem. <laughs> Maybe I should take up golf. I mean, I, you're I, I am one of the book. only humans in Arizona that doesn't play golf. I'm reading a book about playing golf. Oh, really? Yeah, it's called How Playing Golf Can Save Your Life. And? I really like it. The guy is an excellent writer. I've learned quite a lot about golf. Like, do you know where golf originated? Scotland? Negative. China. I was going to say Africa, China. like everything. China. Yeah. Can you, you know what else came from China? No. These buggies. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, China, for my buggy. All right, so now I'm going to do something a bit more radical, which is I feel like I'm feeling the need for a bit more of some complementary juxtapositions, I guess you'd call them. So this may be something I live to regret, but life is full of these kinds of opportunities to fail. So I'm going to embrace it. And um, Are you going to do any lettering on this page? That's a good idea. Maybe I should. What should I write? Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. The fall leaves, not the yips. Bring it on. Look, we are st we are excited about a low temperature of sixty nine this morning. Suffice it to say, the leaves are. I did good, just get a new sweater. I'm excited distance. about that. Yeah, that's true. I'm not sure when I'm going to wear it, but 
You're gonna I wear guess it I'll in wear Port- it Portland. You're gonna wear it in Portland. There we go. Yeah. Portland. Coffee, roses, beer. What else have you got, Portland? Um, rain. Hipsters. Maybe I'll get a tattoo while I'm there. Please don't. Heather mentioned donuts. So Voodoo Donuts opened here in Phoenix, I think like a week ago. Apparently it was a long line. Is that a Portland thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Best bookstore ever, Powell's. True. Powell's is, is good. There really are not many bookstores here in Phoenix. Well, we have a great bookstore called Changing Hands. One bookstore in a, in a big city. And then there's a couple we of Barnes & Nobles. There aren't even well, that many. Well, we have a couple of really nice used bookstores, which That's true. We, we have love. a really good one near us. Okay, this is reasonable. I think I've reached reasonableness. <laughs> the holy grail of reasonableness. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I feel a lot better than I did before. But so often the solution to this is to do it well and to <laughs> regain your confidence. I haven't. I'm not. I'm not going to go that far, but I do feel like I'm. If you fall in love with the process, the results take care of themselves. Who says that? That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, I said that. No, I think what I think what's what's what kind of messed me up here a little bit is that this is a fairly simple subject and you can then decide to get kind of crazy with you know textures and details and blending and all that kind of stuff and it can get away from you because it is pretty simple. You know, you can't just do like a, you can't just do coloring, which is what I often do, where you just kind of do a drawing and then kind of color it in with watercolor. That's just not going to suffice here because it won't be interesting enough. Well, the watercolors are the protagonist. Oh, my puggy. I think that's a bit better. What do you think? Putting a few little explosions of color there. Oh, that's dangerous. I live dangerously. Better. Yeah, it's kind of like, looks like fun. Looks Let's like see a- what Dr. Hoctopus says. Not liking your work is not only normal, but a great chance to analyze and grow. Like John Muir Law says, what is it whoops, What is it specifically that I don't like so I can change it? How about I don't like that I suck? Danny! <laughs> My goodness. No, I, th- I think this is looking good now. I'm, I feel renewed. I want to thank all of you for helping me to find my way back to the path. And... Uh, All right, I think we're done. No, so no lettering, no bring it on. Oh yeah, bring it on, bring it on. Well, not feeling that exactly. How about leave me alone? (laughs) 
How about I'm dying for fall? Um, good. All right, well, um, I can't write on it now because it's still wet. I see. So there we go. Well, thank you for, uh, for this journey today. It was, it was quite, quite, quite a good experience. I really hope that you had did some interesting stuff. I think that there's, there's uh, an opportunity to take something as simple as this and uh, make something interesting of it. Sort of a classic uh, subject, I would think, painting um, autumn leaves like that. And I hope that you enjoyed it. Sandy Banks says the hour flew by. Well, that's because it's only been 53 minutes. <laughs> it's not because of like daylight savings time or something. <laughs> yeah. So good. Um, yes. All right, good. Well, Corinne enjoyed it. And um, Rennie enjoyed it, so that's good. I look forward to seeing it, seeing where you where you got with it. So I think we're gonna step step outside. What do you think? Step out. We're done. I think so. What do you think? Yeah, I give you permission. You turned over a new leaf. There we go. That's the answer. Yeah, I, I actually quite like this. Yeah, you could make like a nice little card out of that. Yeah. I could blow it up and make it into a poster. I could uh -huh. turn it into t-shirts. All right, I'll be selling tote bags with this image on it. <laughs> All right, good. Um, Alyssa says... I love the session. Have more to do on my sketch, which I'll get to after errands. All right, good. Well, um, and Laura says, Pre please relief me. Let me go. <laughs> oh, boy. Good. Well, that was a punishing set of suggestions. And um, let's move on. All right, good. Well, thank you. Let's wrap it up. Yeah. And maybe I'll see you in Portland. But before that, I'll see you here on Draw With Me. Um, again, if you would like to get your own set of these beautiful paints, please write to us at drawwithme at sketchbookschool.com and send us your mailing address. Don't forget that part. U.S. only. So, so we know where to send it. Yeah. And uh, I want to see your leaves. Leafs. Your leaves. Your, your painting. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> Uh, I want to see whatever you did with it. Put it on Facebook. Put it on Instagram. Tag it. Hashtag SBS Draw With Me. And uh, that's about it. Danny's Essays.com. The essay I, I wrote last week got a lot of response. I even made a video out of it, which you can see. It's called 11 Reasons Not to Make Art. And um, people seem to be responding and resonating with that. And we're having some interesting conversations around the idea of it. So... Check it out if you'd like. I will post a link to it here, too. Um, and also, um, subscribe to this channel and like it. Give us a thumbs up Give us a thumbs go. up. Why not? And we'll see you again next time, next Thursday, for another session. Thanks a lot, and have a great day. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.